Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Just a quick video. It is late. This video is about... Yeah. Don't tell people that you are of God. Let people see it. People... Yeah. They've heard, they've heard, they've heard, they've heard, they've heard. What they've not dim, done is seen. What they need to do is see. They need to understand. There's so many believers don't understand the word of God themselves. Yeah. They don't understand that, again, yeah, they think that some things written in the Bible aren't meant for us and that they don't necessarily mean what they say. Yeah. The writings for us are really so small. Yeah, we have really hardly any information whatsoever. And the whole idea that people would waste. You know, those spaces for the words they use, using words that they don't need to use. And especially Yeshua doing that. So when Yeshua says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me, people don't understand that he's saying you're supposed to come to the Father. It's not about coming to me. You're supposed to go through me to the Father. That was the point. That was why he's saying that he was sent for that purpose. For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Well, who sent the son? The son can't send his son because the son can't be his son. It has to be father who sent son. Adam and Eve were created to have a relationship. It's basics, incredibly basic. Understanding that most people in the church don't have understanding of. And even the point about, and again, come on. I'm not saying that I did for most of my time because I didn't. I was walking in these woods earlier with my dogs. Um, with Bambini and Saul and when I was walking through an idea came into my head if you had the opportunity of getting your colleagues back yeah, Molly, Chewy, Lucy, Amber, Riley Mickey, Kobe, Lockie Terry, Jacob and Gracie But lose what you've learned since that time that were they were taken away wrongly would you want them back <sighs> for so long I would have taken them back but no God no because before they were taken, I didn't understand what I understand now. I did not. I was as lost as anyone else. You know, I was knocking on the doors because I was frustrated. I knew that, yeah. 
that what we saw in church wasn't what we're supposed to see. Yeah, there was supposed to be so much more that was obvious. Yeah, like Yeshua says, you are not of this world as I am not of this world. When he says as I, he means you're the same as him. You're from the same place as he is of. What is he of? He's the son of what? God. Okay. So what are we? What are we supposed to be? Because if we're praying to Father, that means we're what? We're not daughters. We're sons. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. The church has made everything about Yeshua. Whereas he made everything about Father. Everything. He pointed to the Father. When asked how to pray, he didn't say pray to me. <laughs> but if you go to the church now, they would basically act like he said pray to him. That's how they act. It's all about Jesus. Yeah, there's a lovely song. Um, oh, I can't remember what's um, but in the lyric it, it basically is the words are it's all about Jesus the problem is it isn't that just is not true because <laughs> look at the words of Yeshua himself he left the helper why He said the helper has a job to do. Yeah. And that job is vitally important. Yeah. Part of the job of the Holy Spirit is to help you to know Yeshua more in a far, far deeper way. Because what we have in the Word of God is tiny. really tiny the words of the Lord are probably about 5% of the whole Bible if that to the most important person we get 5% of the words in the Bible that are actually from him directly from him All the rest is basically from him anyway, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Don't tell people that you are of him. Show people. People need to see. As I said in the last one, we've had that situation of preaching. And we've had that situation of doing all that stuff. And people still go out and do that. As if that hasn't been done for the past 2,000 years. And as if the people that you're talking to or who are driving past your signs or whatever, um, as if they've never come across any information about Jesus before, which they have. They've heard, they've just never seen it in anyone. What they need to do is see him in you. If they see him in you and they see him changing your life. Well, for example, if they're going through stuff, but they've seen him helping you go through the same stuff in the past. Who are they going to go to? Him. So show him. Don't talk about him. Yes. There you go. You take care. Bye bye.